meeting is being forwarded right there. Okay. So, oh. all right. So, this is the Master Planning Task Force. It is November 18th. We are in the community building conference room and on Microsoft Teams. I'm David Frack, co-chair. My other co-chair, Lindsay Smith, will probably not be joining us tonight. She just completed her first marathon, yeah. which is pretty amazing. Uh, members present. Start with Bridget. Bridget Avery. Bill Vermeer. Llewellyn Corton. I'm David Frack, and staff is Rob Taylor. Rob Taylor. Um, review and approve minutes. Well, we don't have a quorum, so yeah, we can't nice. act to accept them. So mm -hmm. we will just table that until our next meeting. Okay. Everybody comfortable with that? Sure. How many yep. do we need for club? We, well, if there's eight of us, we need five. Yeah. Okay. Is there eight of us? One, two. Five, what was that? Six. Sorry, eight. eight. There's eight. There's eight. eight. So, so we would so need, need five. five. Okay. One short. Maybe somebody will pop in on us. Well, there is the uh, there is the big meeting out there for the septic system. Yeah. And I know that uh, that's where Shirley is. Mm-hmm. And I'm fairly certain that's where Seely is. Dan is there. Yep. <laughs> okay. More important meeting. <laughs> I think so. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so let's kind of go through the line by line on the um, first chapter, which is conservation. And just so you guys are aware, I'm, I am recording the meeting so that if we need to do minutes, we can do them from the recording. Thank you. But also, I will, whatever we say tonight, will also be forwarded up to Liz at Resilience so that she, you know, if you say this line doesn't make any sense, she'll get that in the recording. Yeah. <laughs> and minutes, so that we do a little bit. Have you guys been to this bridge before? I have not. Where is, is it? That towards the Smith? Yeah. Where? I, I believe Smith that's Pond. called Little Dog Falls. Oh, yeah. I've been there. It's very close to the end of the trail headed up towards Smith Pond. Uh -huh. Yeah. You're within a few hundred yards of Smith Pond when you hit this little spot. It's a beautiful little suspension bridge. I recommend. Not there, no. <laughs> it's up there. It's nice. That's a trail that I have often looked for and never found. So yeah. the, best, the best way to get on it is if you go out to uh, 4A on Shaker Hill, like you headed out to Antioch Center, yeah. right by her house. You turn right, you're headed towards uh, the Antioch Shaker Museum. When you go by Wilson's Trailer Park mm -hmm. on the left, yeah. it's the next driveway. There's a little shot that goes right up there. Okay. Yeah, the the Land parking. Trust has a little parking area with the kiosk. Yes, I had been told it's in the back of the condos. There's so also there's... an access point there. Yep. But I have yet to find that. I haven't even tried to find that. The Land Trust spot is the best one. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. And there's yeah, actually two trails. There's the sort of great hiking trail, and there's mm -hmm. an old like, woods road kind of skid, yeah. skid log. Yeah. That uh, you know, in the middle of summer, is less well maintained. It's more tick infested. Mm -hmm. But the uh, hiking trail is fantastic. It takes you up to the first one you get to is Big Dog Falls. And right. There's Little Dog Falls, which is this one. You can see the waterfall in the background mm -hmm. coming down. Big Dog Falls is impressive. That one is kind of a little offshoot. You go up in. And yeah, that I found. Back down. Yeah. Yep. So this brings up the question that's one of the um, action items here is that we need more concrete information about what's available, like maps. I mean, if, if we don't know, I didn't, I didn't know how to get up there either. Yeah. Uh, who, did, who did we say did that first map? Kurt. It was Kurt, right? Yeah, because we have an old 
map that this one because it's new enough that parking area isn't on. It might have the one from exit 15. That is us. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't have this one on there. And I don't know what resource he had utilized to get that <coughs> that happen. Well, um, I need to draw to a sign him and say, hey, let's update this. Is he the, <laughs> is he the trail? Who's the trail? No, that's Craig. Craig. Uh, um, I wonder if he'd work with Craig Seymour. Seymour. He's our trail master. Is it? I wonder if, he, if they would work together to update that so that we have. We can ask them. Because they we used to be at the town office for like a dollar. Yeah, yeah. right. Trail map. Um, I remember that. I know we talked about it even in our last section. Of Park Valley Trails Alliance, Alliance also has a pretty good inventory of our trails here in town. They're a you know, resource. Yeah. But you want to start reading? You want to just go down through? What you want to do? Thoughts here. You can see that she has put the watermark on, and these are now yeah. on the Enfield Leaps page. Right. So that raises the question before we get into the specifics. Um, I went back on my notes today and looked and went, oh, we're supposed to have a public information session next week. Um, we do nobody, yeah. Nobody's aware of that. I wasn't aware of that. I mean, that was one of the reasons why a couple of weeks ago I asked you about the dates so I'd know what the dates were, yep. but I didn't know what that meant until Today, when I look at certainly today. start tomorrow, I'll start posting stuff on our social media and, and our website. And put Does that really give enough time? Yeah, I mean, there's going to be obviously there'll also be a planning board once we're done as the task force, then it can go to the planning board for uh, a hearing as well. And it also needs to go to the select board, right? Mm, no. no. Okay. Of the planning board. Planning board would be the formal adoption. Yeah, we can formulate that. Yeah. So I guess that's my question is how do we proceed? Um, if we're just reviewing it now and we give this information to Liz and she's able to incorporate all of these recommendations by next week, that might be wonderful. However, the rest of the community doesn't know that this is happening. Right. Um, and I mean, we switched our energy meeting because it's Thanksgiving week. So yeah. I don't know. I'd, I'd be putting the blast out, yeah, you know, tomorrow for, us, for next week, for Monday, and just let people know. Yep. Because they don't have to go either. They could email you with their edits and comments, and they don't have yep. to go to that meeting. Yep. But if they can, then we prefer. And they, you know, they're going to look on the website to get the copy. Right. So, I, you know, ordinarily, I would say we probably should have started advertising the session a week or two ago, but given, given it is what it is, I think we ought to put out a blast tomorrow. Um, any and all media. But do you want to have the planning board? Let's see how the public accepts our draft version. Sure. Um, I think our planning board stuff, um, the focus would be on the zoning updates. And that would take priority over this because we can do this anytime. Mm -hmm. And we have a formal calendar by which time we have to do this, that, and the other, have public hearings, get the warrant article written, submit it. And I, I feel strongly that that's our first task mm -hmm. and if this sits until after the first of the year um i don't see where that's going to be a problem unless there's a problem with liz's involvement after the first of the year yeah any any billable would be hard would be hard to do after the first of the year we can't get an extension 
we already are. We're in the extension. We're in the extension. Yeah. Well, I, I guess I would still say. Well, no, they can deliver the, like you said, the design files to us by the end of the year. Yeah. We can make it the final. We, edits, yeah, we can. We can. We can. me okay so who's gonna get the word out bridget you're gonna do on what listserv i can share on listers uh, i can do that too but i would say rob can put that out yeah. so okay i'll i rather have it go from you first and yeah, i would too like a reshare you know i can pour it back out or something towards the end of the week as a reminder what else do we have available to us that we normally so it's uh listserv it's uh town website it's social media town social media facebook we can yep, yep. we can use this little uh oh, the board the programmable message board out here yeah. to get mm -hmm. that word out yeah yeah. Uh, yeah yeah kate stewart put the our church uh sale on she yeah. got like 2500 hits so she's got an audience out there yeah that yeah. looks at stuff you mean on on Facebook? On Facebook, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Um, and so be sure to include that the it's available on the website so that, that they be, know. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think um, and that might be something. I don't know. We have the funds, but as like a paid advertising, we can always do like a little bump on Facebook. Boost. And so we can send a radius. Um, I mean, we immediately we just want to hear back from town, so it's not going to be a big radius, but eventually. Do we have any money for that? But... I mean, it's not a lot. It depends on how many days and all of that. Yeah, it comes to somebody. Hello. Oh, we have a member. Oh, David, please. Helper, Warren. Uh, no. Unless you make a non member tonight. <laughs> hey, how often do we get public members here? Right. Yeah, we don't have a quorum, Dave, just so you're aware. So it's not an official meeting. Okay. No, it's, a, it's, a, for it's an official meeting. We just can't take any action. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we are reviewing the drafts of the last five chapters and we're on conservation we just barely started we're just talking about this cool bridge i assume you've been to this bridge Dave. Is that the new one and we put it at the on oh, trip trip called oh, not trip not put one in a ship too that's not it I think this is a little dog falls up top uh okay. by step on. Yeah, I'm gonna let me up. Oh. All right, so we want to scroll. Yeah. Scroll. You guys remember any of the pictures <clears throat> and it's now very good. We did talk about the oh the bombs. Um, so, talked a little bit about that Smithsonian Magazine article. Do you have any luck getting hands on that? Do you want to know? Hmm. Are we going to excerpt it or something? I mean, um, Dr. Tice is talking about land ethics and then. He's the one that shared with us about that. I can't, there was something within it, and I'm trying to remember what it was that I think he was saying could be was. Did it end in the minutes? Probably. Yeah. Probably better not. You got the minutes available? Well, I got them here. If you go to page 71, 
kind of more. There were some changes we didn't talk about. I'm assuming. There's 71. The farm was taken out. Um, the yeah. The Locks farm. Right. That correction yes. was made. Yep. And then there were going to be active farms added, but did we talk about? Yeah, we did. Did we ask that and just say we should just do that there are active farms and not try to make a list because it's changing? She threw in a couple when I when I reviewed it. That's right there. Yeah, Stewart farm. Yeah. Okay. And and others. So I, that's that's okay. Yeah. yeah. That was the only thing that I remember from this chapter was the farms. So would that be up to the person in charge of that to get feedback along with us? But I mean, I get conservation of it, right? I mean, that was ah. silly, right? Oh, oh, what's not on the conservation? Well, who? Oh, what was Shirley? Sure. 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 Okay, so I I would think we could trust Shirley's reading of this. Yep. Unless we have very specific notes from what we submitted, I don't. I don't see anything. In the Rob, can you yeah. scroll up? Oh. Yeah. Right there. Go down a little bit. Down some more. Okay, I'm looking for something that she took out, so it's not there. Good. <laughs> um, the no, I think the article was so on page 72. We talked about the whole language contamination. This is where we went back and forth. Oh, right. That I think is we were talking about quotes from that article in that section. Mm -hmm. So that article was about Mask on the Lake. Hang on, hang on. Yes. Um, but I don't know if we found that for her. Rob, was... Rob, go back up a little bit. Okay, stop. Um, that middle paragraph uh, starts, however, local food production. And oh, okay, she made the change. It was rise, and she made it to raise. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, yeah. Yeah. That Six. one. Yeah, because we had a little controversy about polluted and yeah. contaminated. Yeah. That was really interesting. They went to what? So polluted storm water. We, I think we changed or didn't keep it. Well, where is that sentence? Um, middle, well, in the previous graph, it's middle column, last paragraph. Surface water resources. Surface water resources. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about from contaminated yeah. storm water. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which we're keeping. Good. Okay. So in there, well, we mention it on here. Around that article. So if it's not here, and I guess the other question would be let's get the article to see it because it's not easy to find unless you've got probably a, I'm going to go with a library resource. I mean, she probably has a resource to find it, but you can't easily find it on the web. You can find photos, mm -hmm. but you can't find the actual article. And I also, without being able to read that article, can't say we should expect quotes from it because we don't know exactly what it said. So okay. if anything, so I guess moving on. Yeah. Marilyn, if you scroll down a little bit. The um
observation condition. I didn't see any changes at what we're looking at, but if we scroll down a little bit, the first bullet under conservation condition was flagged. Um, okay. And uh, she did not catch it because the concert, did, did we decide to credit the conservation commission with Lakeside Park? I think it said support. I mean, it says support now, yeah. whereas I think it said something stronger last time. It yeah. did. Last time it said acquired land yeah. by the railroad and converted it into Lakeside Park, which exemplifies excellent race stewardship. So it's been changed to support. Changed. Yeah. Okay, support. good. Moving along. Under unmet and future needs, we had, uh, or I had flagged um, under water quality and testing, increased sedimentation, shoreline erosion. Um, Yeah, that covers it. Yep. Next page under stormwater management, I had flagged polluted. Go down a bit, and I guess we decided to leave it. What yeah. page is that? So 77. I guess I'd ask that because. Didn't we say in the last one contaminated and not polluted? Isn't that all we changed it from? We did change it to in that in that place, but I don't know. I mean, this is representative of what the community said. These blocks. The blue. Oh, no, I'm, not, I'm sorry, I was looking the wrong place. Yeah, yeah the left, yeah. left I'm hand column. We match that word to what we said before because we called it contaminated before. But, but the definition of polluted is contaminated. No. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's the same. Happy to glad. <clears throat> okay. So, I don't know if that's. Okay, uh, under opportunities, I had flag broad public support for water quality protection measures, and that's still what it says. Yeah. I don't remember what our discussion was. This is 77. Okay, opportunities. Yep. I mean, it, it looks right to me, but I had flagged it, so I don't recall why. Do you have the minutes, Phil? I do. Can you see if anything is reflected on that? But we didn't have all the details in the minutes. It's well, not it's changing. It's not mentioning that. It's not calling that one out. In the minutes? Yeah, I called out. Uh, I, don't, I don't see page seven. Yeah, 77 SWOT analysis. This is SWOT occurring, is it? Yeah. There is more room under weakness where some of the detail around water quality and pollution could be added. Hmm. Down septic rule to be included here if approved. The opportunities that could be added, like hazardous waste days, shred days, right. and other educational efforts that are in. Is that in there? Just go down. It's in the minutes. No.
I have a note down here about Enfield Watershed Water Management Plant. I mean, we don't have a lot of room in the opportunities block that puts that. No, yep. Too many opportunities already. Right. Maybe that's enough. Let's just leave it there. I mean, unless we take. I think that should be up to Shirley to check yeah. out anything. <clears throat> Unless we put that stuff under weaknesses, we mentioned them. Rob, if you scroll up to the weakness welfare, talk about like the lack of education. Yep, that's in there. So if we said that they could be opportunities that could be added, such as hazardous waste days, shred days, and other educational efforts, we could. I mean, it's an opportunity, but it's also a weakness if we're not offering it. Yeah. If we make it one, it could become the other. Not in this book, but <clears throat> the town. Just from a layout point of view, I'd rather keep it as a weakness. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could. So yeah, we. I mean, it go. It can go either way. Exactly. But. If we extend the conservation opportunities box, yeah, we, you know, so. we'd have to change the size of the picture below. We could crop a little bit, maybe get two more lines, but why don't we just, I'd say just leave it. So could we put under weaknesses? We have the lack of education already there. Yeah. Could we put um you know lack of like do we do a town hazardous waste day and a town shred day and a, or is that usually go to Lebanon for it well we uh through our uh, affiliation with the regional planning commission we do the hazardous waste day through that as part of okay. the deal that we have with that that one part of that we kind of have part of it we do so you keep that under that education <laughs> awareness. Yes. All right. Okay, can we move on? Are we get on that one? Okay. Um yeah, let's move on. Um, yeah, she made the change on septic systems. Well, well functioning. She's been asking about the septic system wrecks that I told her. Oh, yeah. Them. They haven't been adopted, but that's the big meeting tonight, right? That's what they're asking mm -hmm. about tonight. Um, where's focusing on? Okay, she did not. Make the change, middle column, third line. This includes focusing protection of lands over drinking water resource. And I think the discussion at our previous meeting was that the way it's written, it's not clear whether we are prioritizing lands over drinking water or we are focusing on lands that are over aquifers. So d does that need to be further clarified? Wrong with. Okay. 
focusing on protection of lands over drinking water, surface waters, wetlands, and vernal pools, and wildlife corridors between the waters. Yeah, it's a good focus. How about the wildlife corridor plus? Oh, I guess it depends on how you're reading that, right? David, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Because you're, if you read it in the way that you're saying, focuses protection of lands over protecting in, drinking in water. In preference to. Instead of, and I don't. On top of. I oh, think it's supposed oh, to, I think over, I think around would be a better word or in proximity. In, or I like, I like in, proximity. in proximity, yeah. I think that might be a better term because it, depending yeah, on how you like, read that sentence, depends on how you take it. Okay. Yeah, that works. I think it wasn't taken. In proximity to drinking water, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. uh, what it. page is that? Page, page 78. Mm -hmm. Middle, middle column. Yeah. Under strategic land conservation. Um. Just that. Further down under collaboration. Yes. Uh. Worship scale planning collaborations focus. Uh, go up to the top of the next column. Focus on protecting the Skomalee. Continue to be an active partner when All any right. efforts arise. Now we're up. Hi, Seely. Yeah, that's good. You made the you made the change. Mm -hmm. I decided not to go to the uh, huh? septic. Yeah, that's good. You were going to go. Oh, no, they're just starting. So, conservation chapter. Oh, so we have a, we have a, we have a conservation form. chapter. Oh, I thought you guys were going to do the things we got today. We are talking about that, too. You did it all? Oh, you haven't yet. Okay, well. All right. Well, that. This well, is the one that he sent last week. Yeah, it looks like all the edits we talked about last time are just not all in. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I'm happy with that. Um, the one thing that we did just say, so in this strategic and conservation uh -huh. chapter, so this includes focusing protection of lands over drinking. So we think that over can be read wrong. Okay. So we're going to say to change that's in proximity to, so protection of land in proximity to drinking water resources surface. Okay. Not oh, not we're saying land over water. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Really Rob, what, I, I've lost my copy of the agenda. Or have I? No, I got it. Uh, no, facilities is next. Facilities. You want to go back and approve the minutes? No, let's. We're on a roll on this. We'll do the minutes okay. last, I think. Yeah. All right. Did you? So, town um, facilities now? Yes, we did. Last Thursday. Yeah, I have one. I have four. I have, I have chapters. It's fine. Oh, did it trim one off? Take the trim off this one. That's okay. They also gave you the Dropbox link for all five. Yeah. Always a family. Down facilities. Did you have enough? 10 4 24. Hold on. Here's facilities right here. I can look at them. I get these. No, this is the one. We had a few changes in this one. So this is this is the architect's picture yeah. because she wanted a picture <laughs> and it's not ready yet. Not it's still kind of the previous situation. Exactly, it's kind of a disrupted. Space. It's a draft, though. Yep. We can always change out a picture, right. and 
that we're not going to be printing hard copies of this for a while. So it's easy to make changes on the web version. Did, did I did we not get the 11.6 version of the town facilities that get chopped off? I got a 10.4 10.4 copy, but I don't have the 11.6 copy. Are you looking in the Dropbox folder that I linked to you guys? I just did the email. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's why I was looking at chop that one. It's, it's all of them but this one. Don't want to go down. So I got to go to the Dropbox. Yeah, the email I sent you. This should be Dropbox link. Those are big, big files. I think it might have trimmed one off. Oh, okay. Maxed out that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So is that page 82 where I have my notes from last time? Page is that? 82, you said? Yeah, right. That's, that's 82. There's 82 right here. Yeah. Okay, there are a couple of changes there. Um, and one of them was, it's been corrected. It ha it's now says in 2022 which was a change that needed to be made. Um, the last line, I think, on that paragraph was to assess. Yeah, last line, ensure it was changed to assess. And it's it's changed to assess, OK. Can I, if you scroll back up just to turn it So that first sentence. So NJ Loans maintains 10 municipal buildings in town that range from Whitney Hall to several parks and recreation buildings. I don't love that because I feel like it's a little deceiving. I think a reference of I don't really want to call it parks and recreation, more of like a public use or a community facility. use or something. Facilities. facilities. Yeah, because it's not. They're not buildings. Right. Like, I mean, like this building, I think, is kind of being clustered under that. And this wasn't built for parks and recreation, <laughs> even though he manages, you know, like we have the rec director managing the use of the building. Yeah. Oh, I, I, like, I just feel like it's deceiving to people to think like, oh, yeah. we built all these things, you know, if we want. For parks and actual space for a recreation exactly. you, person to be in, it'll, they'll be like, You already have several of So tell us what you want to say. That's not um, <laughs> Several. Yeah, we don't have several recreation buildings. So that's what I want to do several um, public use. I would say either public use or public gathering buildings slash spaces. I'm trying to. I mean, why are we considering buildings? This is a building, but then we have a pavilion or two pavilions. We had that townhouse. Yeah, no, we, we can't use it. Now. <laughs> But yes, it's got to be. What can we say for <laughs> public use? Yeah, it's the only thing that. that and, and do we want public gonna, use building? Do we want to say buildings or spaces? It's not, like I said, not all of them are. This is a building, but the rest are pavilions. So they're not their space. We have the town center hall, right? We got. Yeah, we got both, I guess, really. The town and the Yeah. Well, so, um, what, do you, um, what about just to, to several public gathering? We also have a town thing, spaces, fire department. So, spaces or buildings? Spaces? Buildings? Wait, is it weird to have a building? Just use both building and spaces. at the beach if you say yeah, 
public gathering places that in my mind could include churches, restaurants, maybe not restaurants, but I I I well, think I'd like to focus it on on town owned Right. That, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Or, so, I mean, it's in the sentence of Enfield owns and maintains. So churches and left towns won't fall under that. No, that's true. And we don't have several oh, but, uh, recreation buildings. They're giving they're giving ten municipal buildings a shout out at the beginning. Right. And you could say Whitney Hall of public pavilions and structures that support public works. That gives you some sampling of what they're just trying to give you a sampling yeah. of what the 10, 10 public buildings are. Yeah, maybe public pavilions takes care of the at least a couple of them. Right. Like you said, it's not like we're listing all 10 out right there. So if we just do it. But we do why do you have to use a number 10? Because we well, have them listed above. Yeah, yeah there's just a lot of everything I see. Do. Okay, yeah. gotcha. You don't have the other one down. Oh, I don't see all the map, right? The map continues on the other side over here. Okay. Yep. Hmm. I like that. We we'll just leave that a couple of other ones. Yeah. Examples. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Who was responsible for this chapter? We had a little ad hoc committee at the very beginning, but didn't all pass the But nobody on this task force. Who's responsible for project? Okay. Thank you. Um. Rob, can you go to the bottom of the page for a second? Yeah, good. Yeah, okay. We did that change. About the fire department? Yeah. Repeating all the things that are listed in that EMS building. And then there was that question about the emergency management that was going to get reworked. I First think she did. Yes. Under emergency management department at the top. Yeah. Management director? Yeah. 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 She did rework that to. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. It's good to me. Yeah. Page 84 was where I had the links. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. 84. It was something about the roof. Slate roof versus the. Right. We took a uh, slate out, right? Yeah. No, New roof. Yeah. We had a, yeah. Yeah. Took Good. slate out. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going by what I have yeah. written down. The next would be 85. So oh, hang on, go back. Uh, did she change Enfield Center House to Enfield Townhouse? Where is she supposed to do that? Oh, you, Where? You're in the italicized, go down, go down, right there. Yeah, the italicized. Enfield Center. Enfield House. Center House. Did we center. agree on that, or do we, were we going to make it infield? Town, town, it's house. town center house is what they could they call it. The infield town center house. Oh, oh town, town center house. Do you have anything? I don't think people would know what the center house was. <laughs> We've always called it town center. Okay, 
Okay, Dave, what else? Um, did we agree to keep the hours of the transfer station in there, or were we going to take them out? I think because we're going to change them. Because we're subject to change. Where was that? Uh, on page 84, bottom of the first column. Is there no hours? It's no. not there. That means it's done. Okay. And then page and you, got the, you got the slate roof part. Page 85, something about plastic cable. Oh, it was, I think it was just a group. Oh, yeah. Third, third paragraph. Uh, third column, I'm sorry. Up. Uh, has not been made. C A B. Oh, it is. Oh, it's not right. Cable. Um, no, she changed it. Okay. Good. Um, The next I have is an 87. But you had one. This is page 85. You guys okay with this little little matrix here? Mm -hmm. I don't have something like this manager. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. make those changes. Just trying to double check something. The cemeteries. I want it needs to be 20. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, we get that on there. Yeah, yeah. they're in there. 27. Up. 27 cemetery. Page 84. Third column. Yeah, there we go. Page 7. 27. Yeah, so cemeteries. There's 26. Okay. I know it's only one, but I don't want another one. <laughs> My dog's are there in the backyard. Please <laughs> do that. They're not at the cemetery. Page eighty-seven. What's that? What's that? Eighty-seven. I think it's a great idea for somebody to make one. Very hey, big one. About eighty-seven. Something about um the line about projects. I guess it was just a spelling error. Go up a little bit, Rob. Go to the previous page. Um, now go down, go down to the very end, yeah. right there. Include adding crosswalks. Yeah, it was just a typo. She straightened it out. Yeah. Okay. Um, go which way? Go down to the next page, very top. Okay, go to the bottom or the top. Nope, up a little bit. Good. Yeah, okay, good. She made that change about the 1903 water line. That's good. She made the change. And that brings us to the end of town facilities. Speaking of water lines, the town really wanted me to know about lead in my pipes. I got four letters. Four. All the same thing. Huh? I to make sure I knew it. Now yes. you know. Get yeah, one for each property. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. At least I'm holding it down on that. What's next, Rob? Yeah, what's next? You guys are cool with the recommendations here? That's good. Sure. I didn't sure. have any notes on them. So, I have cool. either. so what's next on our agenda? Let's see. Next one. Uh, is energy and sustainability. Okay. okay. Ready? Here 
Yeah, yeah, page 90, there was something about lower costs. Um, I think that was the next page. 90. Here's 90. Um, 89, if we could go yeah, back. Yeah. Um, what is the sustainable future? And I had flagged uh, the first sentence. I don't remember why a sustainable future for Enfield looks like a community, and maybe she changed changed some of that wording. Go down, Rob. Is one, Just one where our community? Okay, go up to the. As I put clean water in there. Yeah, that's better. I think the objection was to looks like. Yeah. So good on that. Next page. Bless you. Thank you. In pretty place, huh? Yeah, I like that. I uh, like that house. Love the pain job. Okay, ninety. Ninety. Picture. Yeah. Uh, I guess Kim had some comments on ninety-one, ninety-one, and ninety-four, but I don't know what they were. Um, ninety-two. Oh, I'm sorry, back to 91. Um, first column where it says option for purchasing instead of energy, it should be electricity. Yeah, right. That's page 91, 91 first paragraph. First, yeah, first yeah. column. Electricity instead of it should be electricity. Right. Correct. Okay. Duly noted. Page. Page 92. You'll have a better sense of this day than I will. Um, no. 92. 92. This is 93. 93. Here we go. Okay, and the, the first column on the left, um, like, you know, we have many properties that lie or lay. That's the proverbial question, and <laughs> um, happy or glad. We, we have a couple of professional proofreaders lined up. Okay. I that's... will I will defer to their expertise. Thank you. Because I never got that one right in grammar school. Okay. Um the others on 92. Um last paragraph, something about ensuring prepared. As we ensure we are prepared to handle these disasters, mitigate risk and damage and increase our resilience to these events. Where are you, Julian? Joella? First column on the left, oh. bottom. There's a community. Okay. I don't, I mean, it, it reads okay now. I don't know what it was that. Well, if you're happy with it. It's fine. Let's leave it. It's fine. Just trying to note what comments were from last time. Yeah. Increase our resilience. Bigger culprits. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, disaster what recommendation? I think this picture was not infield. Doesn't matter. Well, rather. Uh, we got sheep grazing anywhere underneath the solar panels? No, but we have each of those components. We just have them <laughs> together. What wasn't this where Liz wanted to put a picture of Lindsay's, Lindsay's solar tracker? She, she never got it. If, okay. if push comes to shove, I have some pictures of those trackers, and I'm sure they wouldn't mind me putting them in. Um, Somebody's under, got some sheep I could run them out in my pasture. <laughs> <laughs> under farms and food production, which is towards the bottom of the page, I had flagged um, local farmers market that support regional food producers. And I oh okay, she she made it plural farmers markets. Yeah, good. But should it not be S apostrophe under as farmers? Mm -hmm. For plural farmers. It's the yeah, but the market belong the market belongs to the farmers. No, it doesn't. Sure it does. You think our market belongs to our farmers? I think crafters. Yeah, no, I think it's farmers as in plural. I think it's both. I mean, I think it should be possessive also, plural and possessive. <laughs> Come with you. We're, we'll we'll have the editor yeah. Yeah. look at that. <laughs> That's it easily overlooked. Yep. Um Okay, under solar, we talked about expanding. We're solar mixed space. You, you were you were there. Oh, it was. Keep bouncing around. I don't see solar. There, well, there expanding, expanding solar. solar. Yeah. Um, I don't know. There was nothing specific, but it was about um, solar or ordinance. Yeah, okay, we said we changed uh, the customers to their customers, which made more sense. And she did that. And I had flagged in the couple of lines right above the expanding solar energy. I had flagged uh, in other ways, because I didn't know what other ways we're talking about. I guess it stays so when, when I reread it again. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you just don't um, find them. I'll live with it. Page 94. Anything on this one? Um, First column, right. solar arrays uh, to generate power for electricity and heating with the way it was. And that's the way it still is. Is there anything else we can use solar energy for other than electricity and heating, Bill? Okay. No. I have a question for you. <laughs> I was just wondering, I was just looking at that. <clears throat> the um well, my neighbor's got the, the big solar panels, I mean big ones, but he's got about five of them in a row, like we have up here in one of the pictures. Now that does that only take care of the house? Their house? Depends. No. How much electricity is their house uses? Mm -hmm. They try to size them so it takes care of their annual yeah. use. What if, okay. Yeah. But every house is different on their usage, depending on the future. What about the um the future of 
these panels? What do you think that do you think they'll condense them smaller or is that something that we could well, say look for the talk, future talk to follow? Phil. They're always, they're always, <laughs> these are resident experts. They're always, not making, me. they're always making changes and they're always improving and, and, and they're always squeezing more kilowatts out of each panel or watts uh -huh. out of each panel. But uh, they're warranty for 25 years. But they they guarantee that they're going to produce at least 80 percent of the energy after 25 years. But there is going to be some degradation because of ultraviolet kind of clouds the glass after a while. Uh -huh. uh, the warranty for 25. I didn't years. know whether you should add something about that. Yeah, and, and, yeah, I've added several to mine when I got a piece on the house. I added more panels. Yeah, because I put in a heat pump. I needed more energy to run the heat pump. And and there, when you just say heating, it can also be for cooling. Right. Yes. So you can use solar for heating and cooling. So should we go back yeah. and make Maybe that change? change that. What uh, paragraph is that? Uh, first full paragraph, left hand column, page ninety-four. Here. Yeah. For paragraph that starts. Yeah, right, right there. Right there. Power for electricity and heating and cooling. For electricity, comma, heating. Well, how about if you said for electric heating and cooling? Would that be more proper, Phil? Okay. So, say it again. What, yeah, what did you say? Order. Okay, so. Generate power for electricity. Uh, generation power for, elect, for electric heating and cooling. Well, but it's also electricity. electricity. Yeah, so I would view it as electricity as well as heating and cooling. To get all three. Yeah. Or electricity. Or Electricity for heating and cooling. But it's electricity on its own. It doesn't have to be used for heating. Uh, okay, I see your point. All right, Rob, what did you say again? As well as. He was saying change it to as well as. So generate power for electricity as well as heating and cooling. I like that. Gotcha. Okay. Right um, go down to the bottom of that page. There's a maxima. Okay, she changed that. It was maximizing community power rates, and she changed it to maximize savings on community power rates, which changes the whole meaning of the headlines. Thank you. Um, Yeah, she did that. Rob, scroll up a little bit, a little more. Okay, let me find my place. Yeah. I have nothing. Okay. All done with this chapter? Yep. Your recommendations. Yep. Knock that chapter off. Yep. What haven't we done? So right, next on the agenda. agenda. Let's go to that. Hold on a sec. After right. energy, it's uh, recreation. Got that right. For some reason, oh. I don't have recreation right. along with the rest of them. So, um, I'm missing that one. So, is there where the speakers came? It came in from? Rob's email. It's in his email. Yeah, what, I, what I'm looking for is the previous version to see if the changes were oh, made. Oh, you're looking for the October version. Yeah. Hey, who are those guys? 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Where is that? I've got an October version. I got a yeah, September okay. version. No, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Maybe email you the October really? version. Um, that's not going to help me because it doesn't have my markup. Uh, okay. But thanks for the offer. I'm not sure. Of. We'll just have to go through this and keep going. Keep going. Sure Come on, Rob. Move it. <laughs> we were talking about where that photo was. We were trying to figure out where that was, if it was an Enfield photo. Yes. It it's by the um, ambulance building. <clears throat> Are you supposed to? Where, which one? That the, one. This one. This one. Yeah. I know where the picture you took. Okay. Um, that doesn't look good. We've got a lot of work to do, so can we move it, please? <laughs> yes. <laughs> These two handsome dudes in this one picture, though. I love it. Yeah. Oh, that's lucky. Don't go lucky we're not seeing their faces. To say we've got great thoughts. Oh yeah. <laughs> These are all good. Yeah. I like it. That was everything. A lot of future for recreation here. Still don't know that I loved calling it Hughes Park its primary recreation facility, but it's one of its, it's one mind. of the higher utilized ones. Mount Palm Club. Mount Palm the golf, golf Club. Is that open for everybody now? Yeah, it is only partially private now, I think. Mm -hmm. so they call it. Um, okay. Good. So the Hughes Park sentence Hughes Park is Enfield's primary, so it's in the center, second paragraph. Primary recreation facility in town includes baseball field, basketball, pavilion, playground, and a community building. Yeah. I guess if we want, I don't count this as part of Hughes Park. I'm going to say Hughes Park has a community building. Hughes Park's next to the community building, which gets utilized for recreational activities. But geographically, that's what people, it's the same place. Yeah. The same parking lot that shares a parking lot, but this was built by the Lions. This wasn't built. Well, I well, just didn't use it for it So that's all. I'm just. Uh, and it's but not. We have two primary recreation points. We have this and we have Mascoma or Shaker, Shaker Rec field. Fields. Okay. So that's why I'm like, I don't know that I would call this the primary, but it's. One of the highest utilized, there's two high utilized ones. The other parks are used, but not in as organized of a fashion. What about the dog park? That doesn't count. We don't own that as a town. We don't manage it. We don't own it. That's we own it. Well, we own the property. We, we own don't right. manage the dog right. park itself. So it's not our. I don't think it makes that much difference what we call primary or not primary. I, I mean, I, I kind of think it is. That's where most of the stuff happens. Well, it's my problem. It's not I can walk where it. most of the stuff happens. It's just where okay. people see it. That's what I'm saying. The Shaker Rec Field is where like all of our youth sports happen. Not basketball. We don't even use this baseball field for youth sports. The middle school uses baseball for youth sports. I just, again, I want it to be accurate because if the town asks for anything, for recreation, I don't want this misrepresenting what we have and people not understanding. Kind of, you know, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's reasonable. So we have an edit to recommend. How about trails? 
Before we got here, we were talking about the trails map. It needs to be updated. That's correct. Uh, recreation. That's a, you know. Oh, it's, set, it's um, like the mountain, but the, you know, like the. Bridget, how about the mountain? So it's Hughes Park. People like that. Um, in town. I mean, just take out. Yeah, I was trying to think like central or in town or I don't know if you can call it central, but kind of. What are we talking here? Where's where are we at? Not, We're in that table on the so instead of calling it primary recreation, could we call it central? Central. Most used. Mm -hmm. Or people like to hike. Most set, but oh, hold on, we're working on a sentence. First. I, I don't know what? We're working on a sentence. The wording on a sentence. We're working on the wording on one of the sentences. Oh, sorry. Hughes Park is in field of most visible. <clears throat> oh, that's yeah. a good one. You could use that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm like yeah. with that. Uh, yeah. And Dave's still in the building. He's here. Right here is quick. Is he on the select fence meeting? I don't know. Uh, Maybe he's been in another room. What did you just say? Most central? Most visible. Most visible. Right. Yeah. Okay. Keep scrolling. Okay. Yeah. Anything on the these areas? Trails. There's your ceiling. Trails. 18 miles of trails. 4.5 miles. Need a new map. Correct. Is that small right? Suki's? Mm -hmm. Then we need to get them on the statewide trail map. Suki has a trail. Is that how you spell it? With oh, I mean, Suki's more. Is that a plural or possessive? Suki's. It's, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Suki's. Yeah. Spelled. Right. Is it spelled right there? Um. I'm sorry. I'm better. S U K I S? No. S U K I S. Suki's Marsh Trail. As shown on the map. That's how it's spelled? S U K I S? I think it's I E. It's Suki. Or you think there's an S in there? I don't think so. Yeah. I can let you know. Let us know. Yes. <laughs> and I'm asking if it's possessive. So it should be apostrophe S? Is it? But did it belong to somebody named Suki? Yeah. So it's well, Suki yeah. Smarsh. That's my guess. Uh, okay. I would say. Okay. You'll confirm that for us. Yeah. Uh, this is page 56. That the drive-by. <laughs> There's a sign. That's just. Yeah. That's right. Got a picture of us working on that gun to the bridge. The little bridge that goes in the or that comes down. I was all off. According to the Anfield Conservation Meeting of August 5, 2010, they call it Suki's Marsh. Suki Marsh. S U K I. So it would be Suki's Trail with an apostrophe. Yeah, it should probably have apostrophe. And that was page. But that it was a mark that's referred to as Suki's March. Yeah. Right. Marsh Trail. Okay. No, but in Suki. Who was Suki? Huh? Who was Suki? Keep moving. Who was Suki? <laughs> Keep moving here. You don't know? You don't know who's out there. Who was a builder in town? They used to own where the fellow. The Red Barn, Main Street. Suki Marsh. Where the fellow does his woodworking. Where oh, they yeah. had that, and they did their, that was their home base, but they were builders. Hmm. Good ones. Um, then she passed away with cancer. So all he um, needs is an apostrophe. The guy this table was meant to represent 
to be growing food. All right. So this is the programming. Programming and field. Yeah. I don't know of any recreational programming of the other students that do remote control car racing. It's all subject to change, though. No. Where do you see that? That's under other programs. So under two, under Enfield Parks and Rec. That happens at Holdings. Right. I think it goes under other. Is what I'm saying. Not oh. under Enfield Rec. Oh, okay. That, that's all I was thinking. This is a five-year document. This is subject to change. I mean, it's constantly going to change. I'm just category. going with yeah. the, what's accurate now. It's already it already says other programs right there, but right, that's definitely what I'm move it down. I think we should move yeah. it. Yeah, I'm going to support that. Do that. Dude, that makes sense. I don't know my distance glasses on to be able to read those, but I don't see the, the Northern Rail Trail on that. On here, up above, in the trails. Well, this is I, this is recreational programming. So we have the trail section up above. Okay, I, I had to step out for the select board meeting. Multitasking. You were multitasking. Yeah, that's what okay. I said. Yeah. Were you participating in the meeting just now? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think we have that listed up okay. in the okay. in the trail side. So I think this is just the okay. If it's, if it's there, I just that's fine. I just yeah. Uh, so yeah, I would move. Yes. Okay. It rolling down through here. Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. Around the trail cars. We don't want to analysis here. This is uh, sixty, isn't it? Fifty-nine. Fifty-nine. Is everybody done with strengths and weaknesses and we can scroll to the next or people yeah. need more time? Richard's area. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know how the person was not supposed to get it right. Sure. Did you? Just going to parade that. I'd be most Wait, I mean, really, virtually now. Uh, me too. How did you get to look at? I did. Mm -hmm. You did? Events? I did. Event. Briefly, yeah. Oh, okay. <coughs> so, Bridget just had one in the. Uh, Thanks. Strengths was it's not a Halloween parade. Yeah. I think it's more of a Halloween yeah. event called Trick or Treat. Yeah. We've already done this once. Mm -hmm. we, we need to get to this. Oh, right. the implementation. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Anything else? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Chop it out, you guys here. Unmet future needs, recommendations, anything? Nope. Those camp councils, I'm sorry, there? Yep. Okay, well, one last chapter. Heritage. Foreign trend. Merit gave me a lot of that, right? We put it in there because that was yeah. yeah, we had edits from her the first go around with this.
Um, I this is another chapter that I'm missing. At least can't find my markup on it. Yep. And so this point that description design is found from a male match driver. Yep. Or... Here it is, uh, slightly different again there. Enfield, no, the center village meeting house. Is that the same thing as the? Well, but there's two. Because there's center village meeting house, the center, Enfield center townhouse. Which mm -hmm. not there all of them. I've never heard it called a meeting house. Well, I'm just, is that intended to be two place. different things or one thing? Because she's got both listed. So there's a comma. This, Center Village Meeting House, and then there's the Enfield Center Townhouse. I go to the Enfield Center Townhouse. What's the village? <laughs> what? What's the Center Village Meeting House? No, it's not Center Village. But that's something. Oh else no, no, I mean, saying. Oh, is that something I else? I think you're saying. Well, they want to do a triangle thing. Um, is it the school? Is it the school house? Is that called the meeting house? So this building right here, isn't it? Right. No, they're yeah. talking about the three places in uh in Enfield Enfield Center. Center. Right. I don't know, but there is another. But remember there's a schoolhouse in it's the church. Block Haven. There's Block Haven. Yeah, there's that one at the bottom. And there's a one the the of the three on 4A by right across from the Yeah, center. Center. that one's the two story schoolhouse. Right. It's one of that the Center five. Village Meeting House, is that the museum? In That's Enfield Center? Question. Yeah. I think yeah. So. I think so. Ah, thank you. That's what I was going to say. What is that other? Yeah, that's the museum. Yeah, I'll keep going. Uh, Some of the brethren in the buildings right there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sure, you're going to show them now. Any other comments, questions? Nope. Here's your uh, matrix SWOT. That's that. You want to start talking about implementation? Sure. Let's get to that. That was the sent that to the SMA, right? Yeah. <laughs> I have a general question, and that is under defining high, medium, and low, and also the time frames. So let's get some kind of a, an agreement on what those mean. Well, that's so, cool. so I find it interesting that we got the sent to us again, because last time, there's not a lot for us to offer in this area because we can't set priorities. We can share what the public feedback was on what was seemed important to them, but like mm -hmm. the town manager really has to set most of that stuff. We mm -hmm. don't think so. I think we that's did. what we did last time. We a lot of them we said defer to yeah. them because 
you know, we can't, he's the one that makes the plans. We can't, he can't plan make. people's time and efforts. Like they have, to, he has to use the town budget. He has to use the people he has. I, All we can do is say, based on the information we had, this seems very important to people. See, I don't think it, it makes me nervous because things will happen where, when, where the people don't take, you know, some of these things should be implemented by or you know all your committees and let, yeah yeah you know, he, be, yeah and he yeah, does you've got he might know it but he could go ahead and do what he what he wants with but everything. he doesn't do that yes he does <laughs> and we're not discussing that part of the politics here our job is to say what does the public say i don't care about politics this is this but you i have think your... the people have to be more involved your groups yeah, this kind of thing. Absolutely. If you leave everything that town manager, I'm not saying no, that's not what I said. I said he would say set the importance of it though. So the committees can have a discussion. If we don't have money in the budget, we can say it's of high importance, and he can reflect on that. But he's going to have to. We have to work with him. We can't get yeah, to that stuff. We can yeah, make recommendations based off. You can make recommendations. I don't know. I'd like to know more or argue about that. Like the energy committee could say, no, we have a high priority of installing that a couple of electric vehicle charters in town. When people get and, grants, and they, you know, okay. it's just like a, any of the, the public works or police or just like get a grant. And I I don't see them, you know, asking for permit, permit going to the town manager and asking, well, I want to get this grant for this. They have those discussions, but they're also managers, so that's their job is to find money that we the taxpayers yeah, don't yeah. have to fork over. So, Dave, you were, um, oh, what, in what, what do you have to say, Dave? Well, I'm not well, sorry, I was speaking to this, Dave. I, I wanted to know, oh. since he's the chair or co chair last time and this time, what, um, what, what do you see as the direction in terms of how? Where we're media. Um, in general, how do we define it or how, how do we make decisions on it? I think last time we assigned priority based on the input that we got from public. Right. Okay. This time we didn't have a whole lot of public input because we were working with existing committees. Right. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So that is a different yeah. source of yeah. I mean, it didn't get as much either. I mean, right. We pushed a lot harder last time for public input, and we got whatever three hundred responses. Yeah. This time we got so, not that many. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of. I mean, we, we can still base it off of that, but it's just not as it's easy. not it's not really statistically representative of very much. So it's, its accuracy should be questioned. Which I mean, I still think we go that, that same route. We still will say, okay, based on the feedback we did get, this popped up a lot. Okay, and so it's the entire priority. Well, so essentially, the committees then that were talked to or represented here are the ones that would be making the recommendation in terms of high, medium. Yeah. Level. Okay, that's what I wanted to. Just so that we were in agreement of how we were going about so it. So what we need to do is go back to the committees and ask them if well, but we have if it's you know if the recommendations as they exist are accurate. Well or ask them to fill it in if it hasn't been filled in yet. I thought that was part of why we had representative from those committees on this task force so that those people could make those decisions. Yeah, I think it, it is. And maybe we have to prod them a little bit. Because we have lots of lots of blanks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Recreation is well, all good. blank. And well, we did a like zero to five year too. We didn't give like this has year we're not going to say in 2026 <laughs> we're just we gave like a range of you know and over the next five years 
I don't think any of these of ours have have timing. And none of them have priorities. I think that's what she Liz wants. That's what yeah, she yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I, I'm right. thinking that we we need to go back to the committee chairs and ask them to fill in the blanks. So, so yes. we'll go first pass though. It, wouldn't that be easier? Yeah. And I mean, ask the committee, do you agree with? Yeah. Does that seem better? To me, it seems like that was part of the reason that we have a representative from the committees here. But we don't so, have them all. There's no one from the rec commission here. I just was the rec director. Mm -hmm. I guess my part. concern is is timing. So if we yeah. if we do this and we go back to the committee, for instance, the energy committee meets December 10th, then mm -hmm. they get back to you, then it's January. I mean, I don't I I thought that we were empowered to just do this. I wanted to know how we were making what our criteria was for making a decision on high, medium, or low. And I'm willing to just do that and move it along. And bring right. it to our committee and have them agree or not. Does that sound like a reasonable approach to people? I mean, yeah, I wouldn't bring it to a committee. If you did that, I'd email it and ask for feedback via email because we don't have time to wait for every committee to be yeah. meeting. But no, I agree. We take what we have based off of feedback we get and try to make a, a best estimate of that. I think it's so narrow in what we got here. But like but you gotta show that the town is involved with you know their own town. So yeah. I, I don't know how to make any recommendations like for instance on heritage and preservation. It's like not a clue. That's that's not a clue. I mean I, I can tell you what I think is low, but uh, they may not agree with that. Right. Yeah. What? Was it just the task force that came up with it? Yeah, I mean, I have all our notes. Yeah, it was, it was the task force that came up with it, but it was based on all a lot more input than we have this time. Okay, I see also that we could just say either zero time, one, three, whatever. Yeah. Do you know something? David? Thank you. Um, as I understand it, um, this task force and most of, at least most of the committees are advisory to uh, the either the select board, um, maybe via the town manager sometimes, um, and don't have um, independent authority for decision making priorities and timing. Uh, so you're just making recommendations based on what you've got. And what I've been hearing at planning board and ZBA, um, they're not necessarily followed anyway. Um, so uh, that uh, um, is, uh, uh, you know, make your best shot at it and then, yeah, uh, move it forward. Yeah. All right. So, Rick, has this where we're starting? Sure. 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 Oh, A lot of this is, is, all by the um, um, land use yeah. and we got community village done. development yeah. administrators. Oh, oh, six is where we start. Oh, that's that's so what? So oh, six recreation. His job. Start with that. <laughs> and maybe we Rock each have our own yeah. opinion on <laughs> what. I mean, I don't. I think they should be. I, I just think you ought to tie in. Um, the assorted uh, departments that work with it, meaning committees. I really do like. So, like the first one, because I put we'll one have three the, and medium. I, we put what? I put one to three and medium. Yeah. The medium. first one? Yeah. Sounds good to me. You're the recreation lady. You ought to know. You ought to, you ought to be able to just write these all down. I thought B was kind of oddly identified potential community building improvements. Like, what does that? That one's really weird to me. Where did these come from? 
Recreation doesn't. It's got a little book that right. sounds like something for town facilities, doesn't it? Actually, recreation is responsible for this building. They are responsible for the scheduling of this building, but it is a town building. So really, it's a town facility. So like recreation could say, sure, it needs a paint job. <laughs> Or we need to, you know, but they can't really. This isn't like a. It's not like a park. Yeah, this building. He handles the scheduling of the building, mm -hmm. but it's a town building. That one's kind of a harder one. You guys want to take this, spend yeah. some time on this in the next week, and we'll talk about it at the 25th. That'd be yeah. a good idea. Yeah, it might be it's a just got today, idea. so it's yeah. hard enough to get pulled the trigger. I mean, I really think we should. <laughs> I really <laughs> think we should <laughs> turn around and that's what's going to happen. You know, the wrong. Um, okay. I don't know what where you're going with this, but um, yeah. 08. 08. Um, under conservation. Um, 08E. Yep, yep. It says, I think that should be the health officer. That will be the responsible party. by, yeah. Sure. Well, who actually does that, though? Is it the health officer or the well, late association? Well, well, I think the responsibility should be the health I officer. I do. We, we, we pay for a OAA. What, my, but in reality, state, what is it? What, what state, state, not what it should be. Yeah. What is it now? Mm -hmm. It's a voluntary thing that, that happens with the lake. I know uh, Shirley's husband does it for Crystal so Along. Yes. So you've got responsible parties for Santa Bay. We have lake associations yes, that do most of the testing. Right. Yeah. And, 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 and they should be, that's the kind of thing that should be. So is that what we want up there? Sure. I mean, uh, does the town, is the town able? To do that kind of testing, do we have a vote? They do it. We have a budget. They're doing it now. Do we have a budget? No, yeah. she, he's asking if the town has it. The we town work with the lake the folks have to do it. For Crystal people. and yeah, Lucas. Yeah, they exactly. do the work. We pay the work. We pay the lake the association? Right? Correct. Volunteer. Correct. Okay, I see. Yep. So that sounds like the correct responsible. Party. It says supported by land just right there. So implemented by the lake associations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Works for me. Yeah, more. It's fine. Well, yeah, under energy, um, it's so uh, wait. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, it's yeah. energy is mislabeled. It says um, it's section 10, but all the numbers underneath are 05E. Oh, yeah. Should be A, B, C, D, E, etc. They're all zero five E's. Yep. Yeah. Which is an That's got to be changed. Yeah, because the uh, facility is A, B, C, D, E, F, right. G, H. All the others are. And then an I. And then energy is all E's. Yeah. So I'll give you my. my Suggestions on the priorities. I'm not sure about the years, but um, first one, I'd say hi. Um, that's a municipal goal. Um, the second one, increase energy resilience. I think that's an interesting one in terms of who's going to implement that. That would be the Energy Committee plus BPW. Um, I don't know. Do you have other ideas? Why? Yeah. No, that, that, that sounds like a reasonable, responsible party. I'm putting medium on that. Um, no. The next one should be 10C. Um, incentivize efforts of residents, landovers, and businesses to complete. I'd say medium. Um, the, uh, the next one should be 10D, um, offer informational and educational campaigns, again, medium. 
Um, the next one should be 10E, institutionalized sustain the, the sustainability and energy efficient design to all municipal. I'm saying hi, because we have I agree. a couple of new yeah. facilities. Um, F would be the next page. Um, plant native, I'd say low. And it does show that it's working with UPW and conservation. Yeah. I think is good. <clears throat> um, the next one, G, should be identify opportunities for adding electric charging stations. I'd say low. Um, next one, H, investigate feasibility of replacing Enfield vehicle fleets with electric. I'd say medium. If you have something different to say, speak up. Um, and I, the last one would be I, and support local production of farmland, I'd say low. I'd say medium. <laughs> okay. The thing was, I realized that I may think these things are high priority, but in reality, if there are 11 things, you can't have eight high priorities. Guys. Yeah, exactly. So it's half hour. It's pretty interesting that you suggested to the charging facilities be low priority. Right. Well, I would say that should be medium if we're going to get. Because I think they aren't they putting some in to the at the uh, new facility. Place? Really? I don't know. That's a good question. The new town building should have at least one or two. They should. So if if we're encouraging the um, vehicles, the fleet to be, then no, no, we also should have right. the charging stations. So they both should be medium. Media, yeah. yeah, but they're not charging stations for the public for our fleet. Yeah, that's a difference. That's, that's, that's a difference. Yeah, because if it was for the public, I would say, yeah, I'd go with it's low. If the opportunity strikes, okay, yeah, we can take it, but we're not rushing out to find it. That's that's the only I want clarification on that one personally. Well, it says that municipal facilities and and sites and encourage landowners to do so. And public and private parking lots as well. Yeah. So, yeah. what do you say? Medium. Medium. Fine. Yeah. Medium. Here we go. I mean, I think we can. No energy. Yeah. Well, we haven't put any year lines on. Oh, all, but. Yeah. I mean, you could say they were all zero to five. You could say five to ten. I mean, you know, what, what's medium equal? Here you go. Three yeah. to seven? Three to three. <laughs> <laughs> or in the middle? Three to five. Three to seven. Something like that. Oh, what? But it's interesting because the ones that are here, um, for the ones that were previously done, for low, it has year one through six. And high, one through three. That makes sense. Yeah. But I don't see any medium. Yeah. Medium is ongoing. Yeah, so yeah. I think we did some ongoing, a lot of ongoing. Yeah. So it's like the, that one about electric vehicles and the fleet. I know that questions have been asked, and I know that research has been done, at least for like the, the PV. Yeah. So that, to me, I'd almost call it ongoing, because okay. I think that... Hybrids. Yeah, they have the hybrid. You know, I think that they have looked into it, and some of them are like, that's not feasible for us, but it doesn't mean it's not feasible for any of the town vehicles. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. So let's let's put that as ongoing, but I didn't put any other time frames on anything. Are we on with energy? Yeah. yeah. Can we go back to conservation for a second? Of course. Okay. Does that uh, mean we're not going to continue? OAF, the inventory of properties along the lake shore that have old septic systems. Well, okay. Um, right now. Go I'm ahead. just going to go through them all. We're oh. going to take a shot. Should we just go ahead and take a shot at them? Yeah. 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 Um, we want to reserve some time next week. Let's take some time next week because we we only have about 15 minutes left. 
according to our yeah. schedule yeah. two hours. Yeah. Oh. So let's let's take a crack at it and discuss it next week. And really think about adding the Yeah, everybody go home and pull mark pull it up. Build, mark it up. If um yeah. people that are you know, the various well, committees. Say, if we have a week, is there a way to take those sections, Rob, to send to the committees via email and ask if they sure. can provide that sure. we should, I mean because we're so limited on public feedback. But not, but I mean, to me, it's common sense to, on some of this. You get, right. Just think so about how the town goes and yeah. how it happens now. Heritage, you know? True. Yeah, the, the and tell, tell them to get back to us uh, <laughs> before Friday. Probably gone, you know. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> get back to us by Friday. Yep. <laughs> yeah. If they don't get back to us, we're going to say something. Because how how are we going to get that information to Liz for incorporation for Mondays? I don't think. I don't think they're fine. I, I think we're going to we're going to give her a lot of stuff on Monday. Next. Just can come. Sure. Well, then that's not going to be a public important. information session. It's really. But I don't think this. Are we doing the implementation of the public information session, or we're just going around around the chapters for that? What's is it I would have chapter? I would have thought it was all of it. I don't. I, I would think that last time. I would think it's all of it, but I think we could save the implementation for the public hearing part of it. No, oh. because we're not ready. True. And and I don't think we did this in a public information session last time. We sat in a meeting, went through it, and then maybe it was discussed during um, that part. I, I will trust your memory on that rather than mine. I mean, probably yes, but I just don't remember having. I think we were just in our regular meeting when we went through it. So it's a I public right. yeah. session. Yeah. Yeah, that I think was, and that we basically stuck with chapters where this, again, we took the recommendation from the public to try to make our best estimates. Yeah, I mean, the, the chapter parts, I think, are the really, really the important ones yeah. as far as the public is concerned. Because that could also, that could, Possibly change our thought process too. If people show up and give yeah, us feedback, we might realize nah, something's a little more important than you know we thought it was yeah. initially. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And for you, mm -hmm. it is my my thoughts on this. Is I mean, it's tempting to sort of get this done and put it on the shelf, but I actually think the, the value is in continuing to kind of work on it. Oh yeah, continuously, right. like never give up. You know, just keep working on this. You never, it's never going to be perfect for, for sure, but I think that the the act of what we're doing here is the most important thing. You know, it's the process of planning that's really the value. So we should we should resist that urge to sort of we're going to wrap this up. And well, and my concern is more that we're not ready for next Monday when we said it was going to be a public information session. That's that's at the beginning why, of tonight. You said that. Yep. <clears throat> that's what we said. The in October, that's what we said earlier tonight, yeah. that that's what it was going to be. So I guess my expectation was that we'd be ready. We would have everything squared away so that next Monday we would be there. I think the drafts, it seems like we're they're pretty good. Yeah, but a couple of the drafts are the public. Uh, this is good. The chapter yeah. implementation. Yeah. You're ready for the public. I yeah, mean, right. I still I like the implementation. I. Still, like I said, I really liked, I discussed this the last time, you know, in the school we did a strategic plan and we had a grid and it was green, yellow, red. And so each year the school board checks in on that to see where it's at. And if it's green, you know, it's done. Yellow, it's in process. Red hasn't even been started yet. Mm -hmm. So, and that just was a really easy visual too. Yeah. So, you know, as, you, as the years go on, you see more green. Um, and maybe there are edits because we tweaked how we approached it or something. But you know, it's that same. Like Rob said, it's uh, it's the planning board that's checking this each year with yeah. the town manager to say, yeah, yeah, how's so. it going?" Yeah, right. the committees and the and well, yeah, and the committees. But really. I, you know, I mean, really, ultimately, disseminating information down through committees and up to town, like it's going back and forth. So who's reporting on it? Someone coming to you guys to report on it? 
Originally, way back when, um, Rob had put forth the idea of assigning champions. Remember that? And I think that got distilled down to the responsible party, which, you know, it's either an individual or a committee or a board. Um, if we can find somebody to be a champion, I think that would be a great idea. But other than that, uh, I think we have to rely on the committee and board structure and the town employees as being the uh, champions, depending on what the particular section is. When you say champion, do you mean reporting back to the planning board what's happening with the master plan or just that you're just assuming things are happening? Um, I, I think. I think the way it was conceived was that that person would kind of keep tabs on things and come back to the planning board and uh, give us regular updates. I think there's no way that that is probably going to happen without assigning an annual meeting at some date that will be the check in of the master plan for the planning board. Everyone's busy, and um, I think I think feel that, like your agenda probably gets I, really full really fast. It, it does. Yeah, I, I think that could that could happen. Yeah, that might be the best way because that way it kind of holds everybody up to making sure that yeah. check in that happens. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, like I said, I know you guys are usually pretty decent agendas. <laughs> no, it's just gonna sometimes be we're very busy, and sometimes we have very short meetings. But so. it's it's hard to anticipate a year in advance what we're going to have. Right. I, I think we could just, you know, look historically at what our workload is. Yeah. I know the end of the year would not be a good time for that. But yeah. Maybe sometime in the summer, early fall. Yeah. And since each there, these this phase of it has been by committee. I mean, it was committees that they are responsible yeah. for. They would they would be the reporting party or the champion. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Did you have your hand raised? Yeah, David? just a, a, a um, sort of technical point. If you want responses by Friday, you're only going to be able to get it from the uh, uh, either those committees that are meeting between now and Friday or the chairs, because uh, otherwise you end up with right to know type of. No, if you if he sends an email and says respond directly to me, not a reply all, and he sends it individually. That doesn't Can affect the right member. That's yeah, a lot. Yeah. That doesn't yeah. that does not affect the right, right to know as long as they're not a reply all response. Because it's not a conversation. It's correct. Somebody correct. asking a question and people are responding back right. to yeah. the person who asks the question. Depends on how you interpret that. Well, no, I have asked the way it's been interpreted. If it's a reply is only good. to him and not a reply all, then it's not a group discussion and it's not a meeting. That's how we all have to roll. So right. if he said you know, here's this, here's your section. I wouldn't send the whole thing. I just send heritage, et cetera, et cetera, and said, just reply to me. Or he just does it to the chair. But I wouldn't want to put any chair in the situation where they disseminate and there's a conversation. Yeah, I, mean, I would keep that guy in the seven. Right. Yeah, I would keep the guidance if, if you have the contact info for the committee that you send it and remind them only to me. How about inviting them to come to our meeting next Monday? You can also do that. Well, of course. And have then we have next agenda. Monday. <laughs> but that way you can also send them there. Yeah, I mean, if you want, I'll totally help do this. But send them like their draft chapter and just say, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Monday's the time to come with feedback. Do that. Yeah, I, I think that would be a good way to proceed with each committee member copy of their draft and tell them the next meeting is the time right. for them to provide comment and, and, and or respond to Rob and and or respond to Rob but preferably to show up in person yeah of all the of all the um factors of the of the just model. five, just the five new ones. The public session yes. next Monday. Here. For, for the five? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, the public it's session. It's not on the town calendar, by the way. We know. 
We'll be yeah. adding it tomorrow. Where was it? <laughs> that was my point. We talked about it in our last meeting. I know, but where's the, where's the announcement to everybody? It's going out tomorrow. That's really hard when you know we know what people for people to get their act together. At least it's almost a week. Sometimes it's well, and, and you know it's not the final public hearing right. either. There'll be another. It's just a. It's time to review the draft. Yeah, we're we're in. There's other than the fact that we'd like to get most out of our contractor before the end of the year. We're in no rush. In terms of finalizing this. Right. We've got time. And it's not a public hearing. Public hearing will be at the planning, planning board. board. Right. right. Which is different than a public information session. Right. Yeah. Right. Sure, thank you. There, that will has be, to be there will be no votes taken or action taken other than you receiving the right. comments right. and perhaps Absolutely. in our next meeting, whenever that is we decide which comments we need to integrate into the draft and hopefully that'll be it and the draft then goes to planning board planning board to make whatever changes it needs to if any and then the planning board when it has the time does the formal public hearing and then votes to adopt the plan when did we say our next one was after the ninth? The ninth, December 9th. What's December? So we have the public info session next Monday, and That's then the September 9th will be our next meeting. Task force meeting. Okay. Time flies. I know. We had such a nice quiet summer. <laughs> okay. Minutes. Finally, the minutes. the minutes. We have a quorum, so we can actually do it. I'll make the motion. I'll second it. Motion made and seconded. Is there any discussion? No discussion. <laughs> All in favor of approving the minutes as submitted, say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Okay. Meetings are, minutes are accepted <laughs> as written. Any other business? Public comment? Somebody want to make a motion to adjourn at so exactly 8? 30 p.m. Motion has been made and seconded. All in favor of adjourning at 8 30 p.m. Aye. 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 Adjourn. Is this on Zoom? It's on Teams. Yeah. Teams. It is, but 